Let's talk about bonding. Representative Torkelson, let's, uh, uh, let's, let's uh, pick on you. You sit on that committee. Uh, Tell our viewers a little bit where the bonding discussions are at, and if you'd like to hazard a guess as to where they might wind up, we'd be happy to hear that, too. Well, this is my first uh, time on the bonding committee, and also I'm chair, so um, it's quite a, been, been quite a steep learning curve for me. I'm climbing it every day, but it's been a very interesting time. You know, the bonding committee has the privilege of touring the state of Minnesota, We've toured, uh, we spent, uh, did five trips last summer to each corner of the state plus the metro area, saw a lot of projects. And for me, the biggest impression was just how much the state of Minnesota already owns, whether it's a college building or a road or a trail uh, or a state park. Uh, we own a lot of stuff, and much of it is in need of, of not just repair but actually renovation. So both the chairman of the Senate committee, Leroy Stumpf, and I, have been emphasizing the need for asset preservation dollars in the bonding bill. Uh, the difficulty there is that I don't have a lot of representatives coming into my office and pounding on my desk and saying, please put more asset preservation money in the bonding there's not bill. A, there's not enough HVAC money in the bill, right? It's just, it's just not real popular. You know, people, want, people like new things. Uh, you know, it's fun to go to a ribbon cutting. It's fun to build a new building or a new trail. Uh, but preserving and taking care of the things we have is very important. And so both the Senate chair and I are trying to emphasize that, and we will continue, but it's, it's not easy. It's a challenge. Uh, beyond that, uh, we have approximately $5 billion, with a B, billion dollars of uh, requests for bonding funds. Uh, the size of the bonding bill remains to be determined. Uh, there's an $800 million bill built into the forecast, so that's kind of a starting point. Uh, the governor has proposed a $1.4 billion bonding bill that I have introduced on his behalf in the House. So the negotiations are just really getting started as to the content of the bill. Uh, as, uh, as many people say to me, we have to eat our vegetables before we get our dessert, <laughs> so uh, the bonding bill is likely to be the last bill out of the chute because it's looked at as the dessert. Senator Eakin, what are your, what's your thoughts about the bonding bill? Well, I, I'm cautiously optimistic that we'll get a, a good bonding bill this year. Uh, this is the big bonding year, and uh, there are a lot of needs out there. As uh, Representative Torkelson mentioned, uh, you know, $5 billion in requests that are out there. Uh, and uh, I'm on the Capital Investment Committee, and I was part of uh, the tours that were taking place this last, uh, this last fall and into the winter. And, and uh, we uh, uh, saw a lot of uh, very important projects that were being proposed. Uh, and we're talking about uh, asset preservation, for instance, of uh, the infrastructure and the, the facil public, public facilities that we have out there. Uh, as has already been stated, it's probably not the most exciting uh, subjects and, and probably doesn't get as much attention as it deserves. But we need to preserve uh, the assets that we have here as a state and take care of what others have built up for us. Uh, but there are a lot of uh, a lot of projects in higher education. There's flood mitigation projects that still need to be completed. Uh, these are projects that actually save us money and, and uh, actually help us uh, 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 excel in economic prosperity. So uh, these are all very important projects, and it's a good time to do it. Uh, the interest rates are still low, uh, so you get a big bang for the buck. And so I'm I'm hopeful that we can take advantage of that and. And there's been, in, in more recent years, uh, we've actually had bonding bills that have fallen short of what, you know, we've normally done. And because of that, there's been kind of a backlog of projects that have been building up. And I do think that we need to start digging into uh, those, uh, that, that backlog of projects and make sure that we're, again, at, at the very least, maintaining the infrastructure that we have out there. But I've got a lot of things that I've got in the bonding bill. Uh, we've got a railroad uh, uh, grade separation, a railroad underpass, and Moorhead that we're looking at, wastewater infrastructure, uh, wastewater facilities in Detroit Lakes. We've got heaper projects, you know, at MSUM. There's lots of projects out there. And uh, I can tell you that uh, Senator Stumpf, who is the chair uh, of the bonding committee in the Senate, uh, is probably the most popular senator right now this year. <laughs> and I, I happen to sit right next to him uh, in, the, in the Senate chamber, and so I think I've got the most valuable hey, piece of no real fair, estate. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I was just going to say, I think it's the most valuable piece of real estate in the chambers, because every time I get up, there's another senator sitting in my desk or at, at my seat uh, talking to Senator Stump. Uh, and as, I, as you were visiting before, uh, Senator Stump's had a distinguished career in the Senate, and it's wrapping up this year. That's right. That's right. 34 it's, years? Yes. Uh, actually, 36 now, because he, he started... I want to short him. So uh, he yeah. started in 1980 in the House, and uh, in 1982 uh, he uh, 
run for the Senate. So, and uh, my dad actually helped to recruit him to run for the House of, <laughs> back in 1980. So, Representative Lee, your thoughts on the bonding bill? Well, I uh, really appreciate Chair Torkelson's comments about the asset preservation. Um, taking a look at the uh, University of Minnesota and the Minsky system campuses, um, the governor put in, I think, about $135 million between the two uh, systems. So I think that's something that we do need to uh, focus on. It's, uh, you know, it's a much more cost-effective way to maintain buildings than it is to completely build new buildings. And so um, something else, too, I really appreciate uh, that the uh, governor's really been focusing on is uh, the emphasis on wastewater infrastructure for cities. I know there was a lot of controversy with some of the nitrates and phosphate issues and things. And so, you know, from my perspective, you know, I, I don't really necessarily want to argue clean water. I think we all want clean water, but it's just a matter that a lot of these smaller communities, especially, you know, greater Minnesota communities, they don't have the capacity um, to pay for a lot of this uh, this maintenance. So, you know, I really appreciate the governor's uh, focus on that. I really, I, I do appreciate that, and I hope we can get a, a very robust uh, bonding bill uh, done this year. There are a lot of projects, um, as Senator Eakin says, a lot of backlog of projects. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm optimistic that we can do some good work this year. Senator Westrom, your thoughts on the bonding bill? Well, again, uh, we've got the same... Uh, a lot, you know, a lot of a lot of infrastructure and investment. Uh, I I too hope we invest and focus on uh, preservation as of assets. You know, there's a lot of wastewater and uh, clean uh, water treatment plants out there in our communities that are very expensive, and some of them aren't that old. Except, except, you know, the rules and the standards keep changing by the PCA and uh, EPA, and so uh, I I hope we can invest in some of those uh, areas for our rural cities. Uh, I've got a couple bills myself that deal with that issue uh, and so I think those are some of the core infrastructure issues uh, I'm hearing a lot of uh, members wanting to, to make sure are the focus of the bill and not not new things if we have things to preserve uh, bridges uh, local bridge and county bridges uh, if we can help fund that account it really helps move down the list and so uh, some of those are some things that I know are very important uh, across my eight counties and across the state and so that's that's where my emphasis has been. I had one of those uh, meetings with Chair Stump uh, last week <laughs> in the Senate chambers, and uh, you know, um, it's just uh, it's, it's a big task to split five billion do dollars down to eight hundred million to one point four. Either way, it's a lot of uh, prioritizing. But you know, the one good thing uh, we, we we should not and do not need to bond for uh, more more prison because uh, you know I'm I'm on the side of uh, we should use the state or the state should be uh, using the Appleton prison and so uh, I hope that's not in the bonding bill. Well, the um, I, I hope the the, the the new state prison is not in the bonding bill and we, we find a way to use Appleton.